Hello everybody, welcome to Marketing Analytics course. This is Dr. Shagodu Janaji from Vijisu Mayati Kharagpur who is taking, we are in week 9 and this is session 3. And in this session, in this video, we will discuss about customer switching behavior but in, in the context of product. So, in the last video, we talked about how customer churn can impact the service business and here we will talk about product. So, product uh, uh, shifting of customers generally happen in those kind of products which are not durable. For example, it ca if it can be FMCG product, it can be your soap or, or toothpaste or, or shampoo, where uh, again multiple, uh, though it is it is tangible, you can see the product and etc. but there are multiple moments of truth, means you generally have a switching behavior and your variety seeking behavior sometimes that you see the product, try the product, probably you have been trying for quite some time and then you switch back and then probably you did not like the new product again came back to the old product and this kind of switching often times happen. It can also happen for Coke and Pepsi, it can also happen for let us say Lux and uh, Lifebuoy and Synthol and so on, that kind of switching is very common. Now, what the marketers has to focus on that if this is switching cannot be avoided, it, you have to try whatever you have to try to reduce the switching but the and that is done by creating brand affinity kind of stuff but still switching will happen but if switching happens then the marketing manager's target is that how quickly i can bring it back or what how i can increase the stable market uh, share of my brand so even some people comes goes out from my brand some people comes in from from other brand to my brand I have to make sure that my overall market share remains stable and that is something that marketing managers try to do. So, here I am bringing in that kind of a case study where uh, there is a retail shop which is there in the market and the retail shop is further focusing on that how I can switch the uh, customers of the normal brands to the retailing brand. That means, Retailer has his private levels, for example, Moore has his private levels or some other uh, uh, Aditya Billa group uh, or let us say Nilgiris or different kind of retail shops will have big bazaar, will have their own private levels. So, when those private levels are there, they want that okay, if there is Ashirba data, I will put my private level data be beside it and I will might try to make sure that people who are coming from Ashirba data but a little bit of uh, price sensitive for something is there. I will put it in my ATA in a favorable position and Asibat Sada in a not so favorable position so that people will pick up my ATA. And I will give price discounts, I will give some some uh, better services and etc. So that the now the now retailers are the major for this kind of product like ATA and etc., which are not uh, which are low involvement products. The retailer are the pool makers, not nobody comes to only buy Ashiva data to a, to a particular store, but they come to do grocery shopping and the retailer is the pool maker, they come to retailer X rather than they come to buy something, they come to retailer X. So, that retailer when the retailer becomes the pool maker in that kind of product categories, the, the, sweet, the, the negotiation power of the retailers goes up very high and then because they have high negotiation power either they will bring in private levels or they will ask more money to the manufacturers for favorable positions of the manufacturer products in the retail shop. So, this is some way of making money that they are trying to do. Now, my focus is to read in this case study and then to see that what kind of things can actually uh, measured by both the retailer or the manufacturer to get an idea that how this mechanism will work, how I will do business, how much money I should pay, how much money I should not pay, what is the customer lifetime value of a customer staying back with me. This kind of analysis should be done by the both the retailer and the manufacturer and that is the context where this particular uh, uh, session is in. So, if you come in uh, in your files, you will see there is something called brand switching dot C, uh, uh, Excel file. So, here there is a case study which looks like this that there are 7 brands, brand A to brand 7, brand 1 to brand 7 and brand 4 is the retailer's brand and the retailer 
has lots of uh, customers and they have been collecting data from the customers both from their purchase data and sometimes through interviews also the combination of a purchase data and the survey and they found out that what is the probability of a customer of brand 1 who has bought brand 1 in time period 1 will switch to brand 2 in time period 2 or brand 3 in time period 2 or brand 4 in time period 2. What is the probability of that? Those are the data that they have collected. And they have collected for two situations. One situation there is a promotion, one situation there is no promotion. The promotion for whom? These guys are actually working for their own private label brand. This is a retail company which has come up with a private label brand and it is trying to target that how my private label brand makes more money. So, in this case brand 4 which is highlighted, which is bolded is the private label brand. Brand 1 to brand 7 is the normal brand. Now, you see if I carefully understand if somebody has bought brand 1, this is actually the this particular matrix is called a transition matrix. So, if it is like in a in a in a Markov chain if you know in a Markov chain uh, there is a transition. So, this is uh, state 1, this is state 2 and this is state 1 and this is state 2 at time periods 1 and time period 2. It is like let us say state 1 is sick and state 2 is ok. So, if you are ok, if, if you are sick at time period 1, what is the probability you will still remain sick in time period 2? Let us say day 1 and day 2. If you are sick in day 1, the probability of remaining sick in day 2 is let us say uh, around 0.4. Then what is the probability that it will be ok? 0.6. But if you are ok in day 1, the probability of getting sick is probably 0 0.01 and probability of remaining sick is 0 0.99. Now, that is a transition probability. Now, if this transition keeps on happening for every time period, every time period after a n number of time period which is very large after let us say infinite time period you reach a steady state, we call it a steady state. So, where the probability of S 1 and probability of S 2 is fixed and this 2 adds up to be 1. So, this becomes fixed. So, once this become fixed, this is the this is the transition probability in our case. So, somebody who has bought brand 1, somebody who has bought brand 1 will actually uh, change to brand 1, will live in brand 1 with a probability of 0.4. He will never go to brand 2. He will go to brand 3 with a probability of 0.13, brand 4 with a probability of 0.1 and so on. And if I just do a summation of these particular numbers, I will get the value as 1, exactly 1. So, that is the probability that the summation is 1, that means this, the, all the transitions are taken care of. And if I just drag it for all these things, it is coming up to be 1 only, fair enough. So, these are the transition probabilities. So, somebody has bought brand 4. The probability that he will remain in brand 4 is 0.4, the probability that he will go to brand 1 is 0 0.01 only. And see this particular transition probability is not symmetric over your diagonal element. So, brand 1 to brand 2 switch is not same as brand 2 to brand 1 switch, they are different and those are the things that they have collected this data from survey and from past purchase experiences of the past purchase data of the customers. Now, they have collected this data into two time periods when there is a promotion going on and there is a promotion not going on. The first one is no promotion, the second one is promotion and promotion is going on for whom? Promotion is going on for brand 4 that means the brand which is giving less. Now, what is promotion? Promotion means that in an average case his price is 0 
and when promotion is going on, he gives a 90 percent, uh, sorry, uh, around 20 percent discount, he charges 80 percent of this value. So, that is promotion. And initially, when there was no promotion going on, this was the market share, initial market share, and when there was promotion going on, there was this was the market share. Now, with this information, we have to decide that promotion should be given or promotion should not be given by brand 4 and to do what? We will check that. See, the first thing is how to check that. Now, if this is my transition matrix, I just copied and pasted it from the previous uh, page to this page. If this is my transition matrix and this is my initial brand promotion, then what will be after first period, what will be this thing? You see, I had just understand this thing very carefully. Brand 2 or customers from brand 1 at time period 2 can come from which brands? Customers at time 2 can come. So, let us say if there are 100 customers, okay. if there are initially if there are 100 customers, then 7 customers are in brand 1, 3 customers in brand 2, 23 customers in brand 3, 6 customers in brand 4, 34 customers in brand 5, 18 customers in brand 6 and 9 customers in brand 7. Fair enough. Now, understand this very carefully that if this 7 persons are there at time period 1 or in this case time period 0, how many of these 7 people will stay back with brand 1? at time period 1 from 0 to 1 when I change the time period from 0 to 1, how many of these 7 people will stay back? 42 percent of the 7 people will stay back. So, 0 0.07 into 0 0.42 fair enough. How many of brand 2, how many of those customers who bought brand 2? will switch to brand 1? Nobody. Those who have bought brand 2, nobody switches to brand 1. How many of those customers who bought brand 3 will switch to brand 1? 4 percent. So, these guys bought earlier it, it was brand 3, now it is brand 1 only 4 percent. So, 0 0.23 into 0 0.4 is coming from band 3. Point zero 0.06 into point zero 0.01 coming from band 4, point zero 0.034 into point. So, basically this row into this column for brand 1. If this row into this column is for brand 1, then from band 2 this is this row and the second column. For band 3 it is this row and the third column. For brand 4, it is this row and so basically row and column and do you remember how, how it is being done? Just it is being done like this that there is a 1 into 7 rows, 1 into 7 matrix and then there is a 7 by 7 matrix. If I do matrix multiplication, this will be taken row wise this will be taken column wise one column one column at a time. So, first this column then this column and this column. So, basically we are doing if it is A and it is B, we are doing A into B matrix multiplication is something that we are trying to do and that will give me 1 into 7. So, this one will be 11 and this 7 will be given. So, 1 into 7 another 1 into 7 matrix which is looking like this only basically that will be my output. Now, how to do that in Excel matrix multiplication? So, I will first remove this. 
So, I will just what I have to do here. So, let me remove all this thing. What to do here that I have to select all the cells because I am doing an array calculation, all the cells has to be selected together. In the function bar, you write is equal to m mult m m u l t matrix multiplication, and this is my first matrix, this is my second matrix, and I close this and then I press shift, control and enter, shift, control and enter and the moment I press it, it gives me the values at time period 1. The same operations happens with time period 2. So, I select this area, I go to function bar and write m mult and this is my for time period 2 time periods 1's probability is the initial comma and this matrix and then I close this. After closing I am pressing shift, control and enter, shift, control and enter. So, I got it for the second one also and the same operation I will be doing for third one. Remember you have to select all the cells where the output will come because matrix multiplication will give you a matrix output. So, you have to select the whole output range m mult comma this comma this close it and then shift control enter shift control enter fair enough. So, you see just the situation. So, first it is 6 percent when you are not giving any promotion or we are giving promotion it is slowly increasing 6 percent to 8 percent, 8 percent to 9 percent, 9 percent to 9.7 percent slowly brand 4 is increasing and that is practically happening because not only I am retaining many people here, I am bringing in some other people from other. So, maximum I am bringing in from brand 1, but other guys also I am bringing in some other customers and accumulating team to my brand. But will it be going on? Will it be increasing, increasing, increasing and become 100 percent? We will see that. Now, the same thing if I quickly try to do with the market share for 3 time periods when there is no promotion, this was the starting value for the no promotion, we did the same thing and you see that here it is increasing but much slower rate 0 0.5, 0 0.5, so point uh, 5.1 percent, 5.2 percent, 5.2.6 percent. So, 5.26 percent basically 5.3 percent at max. So, very slower rate this increase is happening. So, that is something that we have to focus on that the increase in this particular case is much smaller, but again the question still remains same that what will be the ultimate market share. If I go on doing this, if I go on giving promotion or if I go on giving no promotion what will be the market rate. Before I go to that another question has been asked to me that what is the transition what percentage of suits customer will retain after 3 period of promotion and 3 period of not promotion. So, in first time period, so with promotion this 48 percent remains this is after time period 1. this is after time period 1, after time period 2 how many persons remains? After time period 2 people who remain if I just copy ok. So, this is this is basically ok. So, let me let me do it properly. So, after time period 2 how many persons will remain? These values will be nothing but is equal to m m matrix multiplication of this matrix comma this matrix once more and then shift control enter that is after second time period. So, basically this many people will remain originally suits customer how many will remain after time period 2 this many people will remain and then after time period 3. So, I will just write here 
after T3, how many percent will remain if I just copy and paste it here and I say that this is M malt, okay, sorry, not this. I have to select the whole area and I write M malt. this actually this comma this and then shift control enter I get after time period 3 what will be the case. Now, the transition probability changes then the next 3 periods of without promotion. So, without promotion this is the transition probability which is different. So, if it is different I have to copy and paste that. So, after T4, in case of T4, what will be the case? Again, you select the whole area, then go to this, you write MMULT, this is at the end of time period 3, and this is at the transition probability when no promotion is there, shift control enter. So, one round of no promotion is done second round of no promotion I have to write. So, I will just copy and paste it here, delete and then write MMULT. This is my first round, fifth, uh, fourth round and this is the transition probability and then shift control enter. This is basically T5 and after T6, how much? After T6, it is basically if I just copy it and paste it here and if I can, if I can, I can probably delete this one. I can probably delete this and then I can write ok is equal to MMULT. This is my T5 and then this is my transition probability and then if I close and then shift control enter and I get after T6. So, basically you see that if I do some rounds of discounts and some rounds of non-discounts, ultimately only 6 percent of my original guys will remain with me, which is a something which has to be thought about that 6 percent is very less number what to deal with it. So, this is how we have to find out that. Now, what is the long term probability is my question. What happens? when the, the if what is long term probability when I keep on giving this no promotion. So, long term probability will be what you see that at long term probability means that it will not the probability will not change fair enough. So, long term probability means in the next time period the probability will not change in a very long time if you keep on doing this at, at one point there will be a steady state where the steady state into the transition probability is again the steady state, fair enough. So, let us assume that the steady state is x, then I have to find out such an x such that x into the transition probability is still x. That means what? That means what? For each of the states, the number of persons going out and the number of persons coming in are same. That means, those who are brand 1 customers at the steady state, out of them 10 guys if go out and buy something else, then 10 more guys will come from outside and replace these people, then only I will be in steady state. If the number of outflow and number of inflow is same, then I am in the steady state. So, that is what we will be checking. So, this is the transition probability. So, brand 1, how many guys are going out of brand 1? So, the guys who are going out of brand 1, if I am not wrong, just one minute. Okay, so, this is basically I have to copy this. So, if how many persons are going out of brand 1? So, I think this is uh, 0.44 minus 1 this many persons are actually going out of brand 1, 44 percent remaining means this many persons are going out. 
and how many versions are staying coming into brand 1? If I just copy it and paste it in as a transpose, so that many person will be coming in. And the same thing I have to do it keep on doing for everybody. So, I just copy this guys and then paste it here as a transpose and then the middle ones this is basically 0.42 minus 1 because 0.42 guys are staying back. So, this many ones will be leaving then 0.59 minus 1. So, these guys are staying back. So, this game person will be leaving then 0 0.04 is staying back that means 0 0.04 minus 1 will be leaving 0 0.062 is staying back that means that minus 1 is leaving and then point staying back that means that many persons are living and 0 0.03 is staying back and that many persons are living. Just understand what I have done. See 44 persons were staying back from brand 1 to brand 1 they were staying back. So, how many persons are living from brand 1? 56 percent. So, that is why minus 0 0.56 ok and these guys are coming from other brands. So, if I just write it down in this way that in a steady state, if B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, this was the brand's market share, then out of these brands, 56 percent out of brand 1, 56 percent are going away and 0 0.2 percent, 6 percent, 1 percent, 6 percent, 7 percent and 6 percent. So, 2 percent, 6 percent, 1 percent, 7 percent, 6 percent and 7 percent of B 1, B 2, B 3, B 4, B 5, B 6, they are coming in to brand 1 in time period, next time period, steady states next time period and minus 0.56 guys are going away. So, if I just do the addition of this thinking, how much will be the total change? The total change is 0 and that is why it is a steady state. So, this into this, 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 this into this and this into this, this will be 0. It is a steady state. So, that is the thing I have done for every brand and these values are 0. See, these values are 0, these values are 0. Now, if everything is 0, if everything is 0, you will not be able to solve the problem. So, if it is, let us say, by any chance, if you are trying to solve a into x is equal to 0, solve for x, then x will be 0. You will not be able to solve any problem. So, to so that we do not face that, what I do is, I am saying that the summation of the probability that b 1, b 2, b 3, b 4, which is the steady state probabilities, the summation of these probabilities will be 1. So, to do that, these are the coefficients this is equal to 1, this is what I am trying to get. Now, what I have to solve then if there, there is a case, see this is the steady state probability is this let us say and these are the values and this is my y. Then what will be the steady state probability? Basically, the if a x into b is equal to this, then these values will be inverse of b 3 to h 9. So, a inverse into y that is what I am writing here. See, m inverse into j 3 to j 9. So, I have selected this once and I will just go here and press, press control enter and I am getting the probabilities. So, the probability long term probability if I keep on giving this thing is 0.5313. Now, the same thing if I can calculate for uh, for the for promotion case, this is no promotion case. For yes promotion case, what is the values? I will quickly calculate, very quickly I will calculate. So, I will copying it and practically I am copying this one and then pasting it here as a transpose and then this is basically this minus 1 
and this is minus 0.47 to be precise. This is how much? Minus 0.38. This one is minus 0.52. This one is minus 0.41. This one is minus 0.54. And this one is minus 0.7. Fair enough. And then instead of doing this, I will choose any one of them to be 1. So, this is 1. And then other values are 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, exactly what I did before. So, then what will be this thing? The probabilities will be, sorry, the probabilities will be uh, is equal to m mult within that matrix inverse, m inverse of what? m inverse of this people comma, okay, m inverse comma and then into of this. So, that is for shift control enter I got the probabilities. So, this is the probability if I just copy this and just paste it here, you will see that if I compare now brand 4, if I keep on giving it will probably saturate at a 10 percent level. If I keep on giving the promotion, if I do not keep on giving the promotion it will saturate at a 5 percent level. So, this is something that is important. Now, understand what I am giving in terms of promotions, what I am doing? So, if I keep on giving promotion, then the this is my salary, no this is my this is my price 0 0.045. So, 0 0.045 multiplied by the long term probability, long term probability is how much 0 0.053, 0 0.045 into 0 0.053, it is my long term revenue and the long term revenue and, and multiplied by whatever and in this case 0 0.045 if I give promotion that means, I am increasing this, um, this becomes 0 0.9973. So, 0 0.09973 into how much 0 0.045 into 0 0.8 I am giving 20 percent discount and I am getting see more than that, more than whatever I would have got in a steady state condition I am getting more. So, I should give on given promotion and I will earn more and we have to see that how the transition happens, but this is something that is a basic idea that whether you should give promotion, whether you should not give promotion in a switching condition. So, that is where we will stop today. Uh, this is a classic case of uh, 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 brand switching where the customer lifetime value and the switching behavior matters in the as we go on we will discuss about customer lifetime value how to calculate that and how to take a call on that, that which kind of decisions can be taken in marketing, we will discuss about that. Thank you very much, I will see you in the next video.